Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will be discussing together how to apply for visa for Latvia. And as always, we will be discussing everything starting with the visa policy of Latvia. And after that, we will move forward. We will discuss how to fill the application form and we will discuss also all the application process. And in the end, we will be speaking about all the documents that you will be needing while applying for visa for Latvia. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours. First, let's explain together the visa policy map of the Schengen area as a country of today is a part of the Schengen area. So if you are a holder of a passport belong to any country of the Schengen area, if or if you are a holder of a visa of any country in the Schengen area, you have a free access to any country inside the uh, Schengen uh, area. Uh, and also there are some countries who can get access to Schengen area without visa. For example, countries of uh, all the countries of North America, Austria, United Arab Emirates, Japan, uh, Korea, Malaysia, and uh, many countries uh, in South America. All these countries can get uh, into the Schengen area and stay there for uh, 90 days. For the rest of the world, speaking about all African countries and almost all uh, Asian countries, all these countries must obtain visa before traveling to the Schengen area. And some of these countries like Iran, Iraq, uh, Ethiopia, Somalia, Pakistan, you will need both visas for traveling to, uh, to the Schengen area or even transiting inside the Schengen area. So the first thing you need is to fill the application form uh, of uh, the, for the visa for Latvia and this is the official site where you can fill the application form electronically epac.bmlp.gov.lv here and the, you can do two things here the first thing is to fill an online visa application form then print it sign it and submit it and the other option here is to schedule an appointment we will choose here visa application it's just loading okay Th those are the visa regulations okay i have read and accepted the terms and fill the visa application form Okay, the visa type I want is Schengen visa. Country, let's say I'm applying from India. The embassy, okay, India, and I would like the language to be in English. All right. All right. So now I'll start filling all the details, the surname, the family name, the first name, date of birth. Okay. Let's say that date, for example. Okay. Place of birth, country of birth. We choose India, so keep it India current nationality India nationality at birth India other nationality doesn't exist and here male civil status single and in case of minors okay I'm not a minor so I will not fill this section national identification number if applicable so write your national Id uh, identification number uh, it's not obligatory but it's good to write it type of a travel document it is a per, uh, okay it's not here they're not writing ordinary a passport just okay lens passport 
number of travel document one two three four five okay. date of issue let's say first of march valid until the year 17 march first okay issued by country india and personal data of the family member in european union i have none so i am giving none uh, also the date of birth and nationality and uh, the family relationship with this with this person okay place of residence i will say india okay in which province in which street my postal code my email and also give a phone number residence in a country other than the country of your nationality i will say no uh, current occupation i will say uh, like computer expert employer the name of employer okay address and telephone number okay main purpose of journey i will say tourism i want tourism Additional information on purpose of stay. If there is any additional information, please write it here. If not, don't give any. Member states of destination. I'm going to Latvia. Other member states of destination. If I want to go to Estonia or go to France also or go to Denmark, whatever you want. Member states of first entry. I'll say Latvia number of entries requested i'll choose here multiple for example intended date of arrival in the schengen area let's say it is the first no no, no not the first of course uh, in march the first of april okay intended date of departure the first of may okay fingerprints collected previously for the purpose of applying for Schengen area i will say no okay entry permit for final uh country of destination where applicable okay no i'm not giving any of that because i'm not going on transit i'm just going to the country so that's why i'm applying for a visa surname of inviting person in member state if not applicable name of hotel okay name of your hotel or hostel first name of inviting person in member state uh, is not applicable the place the address the postal code the country latvia here give the email of this hostel and here give the phone number of this hostel name of inviting company or organization i'm not inviting by a company or organization so i will not fill any of this part cost of traveling and living during applica applicants stay is covered uh, by applicant i use cash and credit card and here's a place i'll write the place uh, india delhi and the date i'll write the date of today and user presence validation okay nine i'll click after that save application after saving the application okay this is application saved over here and i can send say send application by email to send it to yourself by email or print application i will click print application now the application is printed as you can see all the details over here all right and this is 
your application and this is a session where you will have to give your signature over there just click print and by printing your application you are now ready for the next session can you say while printing this section is appearing over here yeah it's appearing now only over here okay so after printing your application you are ready right now to submit the application in order to submit your application through an application center or through the embassy here are giving you uh, an option to schedule an appointment so you can click schedule an appointment and you can okay reserve an appointment and here you can choose the country so this option is available only for the russian for the russian uh, federation to schedule an appointment using this wizard but if you are applying from another uh, country like from latvia uh, like from egypt or india or indonesia or bahrain or azerbaijan or any of these countries then you will go through vfs global let's assume you are applying from indonesia for example then take me to the website and the process is the same for any country no matter which country you are applying from the site is just loading okay click start now and here to book an appointment once you have filled uh, your uh, visa form you can drop off the visa application center with no need to book an appointment and this is the same regulation if you are applying from india or egypt you just need to go to the location of the application center to drop off your uh your application and there in the application center when you visit the application center you'll have to pay your fees uh, the 80 euros fees for uh, uh for the visa and also um, the service fees of the center itself and after reviewing all the documents uh, with you and submitting the documents and paying the fees uh, you will be able to track your application status here online and once accepted you can collect your passport and in the next section we will learn uh, together uh, about all the required documents that you will be needing while applying for the visa speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa the first document is your passport speaking about the passport the passport must be original the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps number two you will need a photocopy of your passport the passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends of the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video number five you will need a proof of status for the proof of status it varies if you are an employee or work in a company you will need a letter from an employer or hr office or your sponsor stating designation the date of employment the salary the period of stay purpose of visit and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned the letter must have an original signature and a stamp but if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and 
tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 Euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.